about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for Welcome to this Japan Journal Flip. Uh, we've been at home for... We. I should introduce who I'm talking with. Uh, Steve is here. Hi, everybody. Steve's here, and he's going to flip through this journal with me because uh, he was with me when I made it. So he would have uh, a, a different viewpoint, I guess. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of like the... Uh, I guess what your husbands or your wives are going to feel like if you pick up travel journaling and how annoying it can be um, for them. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like when you're um like when you're trying on clothes at the department store and your spouse is sitting there like just waiting waiting <laughs> yeah Steve's gonna give you that perspective so um anyway I should explain I've got the Jane Davenport mixed media butterfly effect book here I put the cover on it because I actually painted it with this gold copper paint metallic paint finish it was a little sticky so I needed to uh not deal with that while I was traveling so I put that journal cover on it and it's great because it's got two extra pockets in the front and back and it's also got an opening at the top so anything that you collect along the way while you're travel journaling you've got a place to stick and uh, it'll it'll be safe in there yeah um, and I, I collected a lot of stuff yeah tons of stuff like any pamphlet any like little like ticket plane tickets <laughs> everything obviously. Uh, everything there any of those little like bag tags uh -huh. that they have at the the check-in counter yeah. Um, this, I guess this is the first page, other than the front cover, which just had some stuff on it. Um, travel journaling, I guess I'm just going to explain a little bit of it. Uh, you can see it's just kind of documenting what you're doing and where you're doing it and why you're doing it and how much fun you're having while you do it. Um, here is, I guess, a spread. Most of this was created with new stuff that I bought um, at the stationery store. It was just testing pens and seeing if I liked certain ones. And mm -hmm. I mean, Japan is the mecca for stationery. Everywhere. And uh, office supplies, so uh, there was a lot to test out for me. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, it's travel journaling to me, I, I had three of these inserts. These three inserts, I believe, are the marker paper inserts from the, the Butterfly Effect book. And I actually put a watercolour insert at the back for more of my art only kind of spreads because you can see on the left hand side there, I was actually just sketching while we were waiting for a show at Tokyo Disneyland to mm -hmm. start. And um, it gets a little confusing trying to put all of your ephemera down and your little like sprocket photos. Uh, it gets confusing to put it down if you've already got this massive spread going on. So that's that, I guess. Yeah, no, I thought it was really cool. I mean, it was a good way for him to not waste time or waste waiting. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like to, to kill time. To kill time, yeah. definitely. And he would always have his journal out and he was always sketching or doodling or sticking something into it. And like he traveled with a, a little stitch backpack <laughs> when that he, you got it what, when you were I remember working? that on my contract. Right. Like my first one, I think. And it was just full of like his journals and his just little stickers and stuff. And then he also had his like pouch of, of pens and equipment. And uh, yeah, it was really interesting just to watch him like take things out and whip them out while and work on his journal while we were doing the parade or while waiting for the parade. What is that tag? Picture? <laughs> yeah. I made that for a tag Tuesday. Oh, this is my absolute favorite page in this whole this. entire thing. Steve, uh, we went to Tokyo Disney Sea, which I don't know if uh, you're familiar with the Japanese parks, but they're incredible. And Tokyo Disney Sea is kind of like a water themed park. It's not a water park, but it's kind of set at different ports around the world. Like some make believe and some not. Anyway, yeah. Mermaid Lagoon is covered in these incredible tiles. Mm. And uh, I took a photo of it and I thought, I just want to be able to document this some way. So I went and took a bunch of different photos of the tiles. And uh, when I got back, I just printed them all out and, and um, used that paper mosaic project that I had for the Davin Party and just did that. So that was a great way for me to actually, like, literally put parts of Japan in my journal. Yeah. Which, uh, which I guess is the point of travel journaling. You want to collect things that are relevant to your, um, to your trip. 
you want to collect things that you find at the places that you visit. The great things to collect are like uh, business cards or um, brochures, pamphlets. Um, Japan's also a great place for art journalists because they've got stamping stations everywhere. Yeah. All these stamps on the side, we actually found it uh, in Tokyo Station at the Traveler's Notebook yeah. store. Um, and there's one at Narita Airport as well. Right. They have a bunch of stamps. But, I mean, also at the train station, we saw these little kids playing, like, a Pokemon stamp game. Like, they had to collect all their Pokemon on the map and stamp. Yeah, and the thing, I guess, like, it's kind of... It, it encourages everybody to ride the public transportation system, like the train, and so they go to every station, and then they collect... It's like collecting Pokemon. Like, so they're catching them all by getting their stamp. It's like a treasure hunt, yeah. like a scavenger hunt, yeah, exactly. but you're collecting the stamps. And mm-hmm. I mean, there's a stamp for almost everything in Japan. Yeah. If you go to any like tourist site, you can pretty much stamp, uh, you know, that you went there. It's kind of uh, literally as if you're stamping a passport. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I, I would just pick up ticket stubs. I even put an old chocolate wrapper in there that Steve ate. Um, and <laughs> 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 uh, pamphlets like the Disney Resort maps, uh, even labels of things and packaging. I I can hoard a lot, and that's where those uh, pouches in the in the journal cover came in handy because I would put everything in there, mm-hmm. and I I really struggled to throw stuff away. And I came back. If you went through my bags when you, when I came home, it kind of looked like I had a bag of um, like trash, like trash, yeah, Literally, just paper trash. trash. But it was all of the stuff that I wanted to throw back into my journal uh, once I got back. Even receipts, like receipts from the well, travelers. And I show. asked him, I was like, uh, James, what are we doing with this? Like, this is trash. He's like, no, don't throw it away. Don't throw any of it away. I'm gonna use it. Okay. Right. And he did. I did. I used. I pretty much used everything. Which was exciting for me. And it's also kind of cool to see, like, something that I was like, what is, what, like, why does he need this? But then he puts it in his journal, and I'm like, oh, that's really cool. Yeah. I love it. I've got a story for everything in this journal. Like, those those origami were actually, like, a take one free from the, yeah, the, the currency exchange. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I felt really guilty because I took two. But I just, just, Steve, I guess Steve had one. Yeah, one for me, one for you. <laughs> uh, oh, Sticky Pigs, here we are. This is my absolute favorite. Uh, there's a bunch of Sticky Pigs all through this journal, but basically it's, uh... It's called Purikura, which is short for print club, kind of in the Japanese yeah. way that you would say that. Um, Purikura. They're just photo booths that you can graffiti all over the uh, the pictures. And <laughs> uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun in these photo booths. <laughs> um, different stages of the night, I guess. We had, it was fun. Please don't judge us for what you see here. A lot of the poses actually um, they're are directed. suggested. They're, yeah, they're, 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 you're directed through it. Well, because there's go, a screen. Well, yeah, it's like a, it's a big. Fo- if you've never done, um, you know, sticky pics, it's a big booth, and uh, you kind of give yourself a team name, and uh, what. I thought it was just saying the bangs. Oh, yeah. We bought Stella some bangs. Yeah. The clip-on bangs from the dollar store. It was so funny. Uh, she loves them. <laughs> they're her favorite thing. Um, no, but you go into, the, the, into the, the, the Sticky Pick booth, and there's a green screen behind you, and there's a big, like... like you there's know, lighting everywhere. There's lighting everywhere, and essentially it's like a touch screen that's in front of you that tells you, okay, next you're going to pose like this, and you're going to pose like that, and how big do you want your eyes to be, and how white do you want your skin to be? And, oh, yeah. And but it's just, just like a sl- whole instant Photoshop thing going on, and it's yeah. it's really, really bright in there. They've got the green screen, so it changes up your backgrounds. Mm-hmm. It's cost 400 yen. Most of them cost 400 yen. There's a whole bunch of new booths now. I'm, I'm more into the old school booths, yeah. but... Uh, the new ones are interesting too. They have that leg lengthening feature, which was pretty awful if you stand with your leg in the unsuggested way. <laughs> it just like blows out your knee. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, so the Sticky Pig boots, I absolutely love. Funny side note, when I was in high school, we actually had a bunch of them near the Capitol building in Sydney. I think mm. it's in the Capitol building. They cost about 16 like 15 to $16 a go. But in Japan, it's like $4 a go. So yeah. that's why when we went to Japan, I just... I did a bunch. Went crazy. So there yeah. were more sticky pics. And yeah. yeah, point is, is that they suggest the poses for you. Like, um, maybe these after, we're drinking Chu High, so I have a feeling that these might have been a little bit more, uh, we might have taken some Carefree, creative. Carefree, I would say. Yeah, carefree. <laughs> more, more creative liberties with them. Yeah, like we didn't need the suggestions once our imagination was unlocked. Yeah, by the, by the power of the Chu High. <laughs> Chu High is like, what is it, Shochu? Yeah, it's, um, it's kind of. Uh, I mean, not that this is. Uh, well, that's part of our trip. But Japan has an open carry law, and, you know, we are of age and adults, so we uh, took advantage. We we're also on vacation. That was really cool. I love that. I got that from Anita Tillman. On the, it, she had a project on the Davin Party. I meant to say this, anyway, so thanks for picking it up. It's called Flipping Fantastic, and it's, it's, it's this exact kind of like. Uh, 
I want to say accordion, but it's not. It's a... But I, it's like a domino effect. Yeah. It's like a flip. But I love that you... Um, the tickets. Yeah, yeah, the sprocket photos fit perfectly on the back. That's so fun. Uh, some more sticky pics. I want to... That's a booth. On the bottom of that right-hand page, that's a sticky pic booth. Oh, well, I'm going to show you the close-up anyway. See those skinny little legs? Right there. The one at the top right is where it just blew out my thigh in that was, way. That was your birthday, right? No? Mm, maybe. That day? I can't tell. Baby. To be honest, I cannot tell. This is Masami. This is my friend. Um, I got her to write in my book as well. I guess uh, while you're travel journaling, take your travel, take your journal everywhere. Get your friends to write in it. That's a great tangible memory to have with them. Oh, this photo right in the middle there. That's Steve holding a Duffy bear. Um, Steve had fans of his show uh, out in Japan, and uh, we actually ran into them while we were going to the park. Yeah. And they had the Duffy bear that's wearing his opening costume from the show yeah. that he used to do out there. So. Uh, we got a photo of that. And yeah. That was really fun. Yeah, they made that costume for that stuffed animal for for the Duffy, mm-hmm. which is like super detailed, and uh, it looks pretty much exactly like the costume that I wore for my opening number. That hot pink. There's that. Bul- uh, it, oh. <laughs> <laughs> shimmer glitter highlighter. Yeah. Shimmer <laughs> glitter glitter <laughs> highlighter. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> it's pretty um, and slim. So more. Um, what am I going to say? Well, more collage and journaling. Well, I, have the, I have the other one for you, the Smash Penny. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I'm not going to make my journal even bulkier than it is, but okay. thank you. Sure. <laughs> uh, collecting the tickets. You can see I still did draw some stuff in the actual travel journal bit, but for me, it was kind of like a hybrid scrapbook slash, mm, what am I going to say? Like art journal it slash was, photo album. It's like a sc- it's, yeah, it is a scrapbook. It's just a big scrapbook. It's like a photo stuff. album. There are those Pokemon stamps at the top right. Mm. That's what the kids were collecting. And there's Masami's message in her uh, beautiful Japanese handwriting. Um, we did sticky pics then as well. I Honestly, I couldn't get enough of the sticky pic booths. I think Steve was a little over it by the end. Actually, I kind of got super used to it by the end, and then I wanted to do more, and then before you know it, it's time to leave. That was the most awful part, leaving. <laughs> yeah. It's no joke. We were so sad. Oh, we went to that um, the festival. Yeah, that's our friend Madison, who she's working out there. She's one of our... One of our super good close friends, and uh, she doesn't have a um, a palate for sushi, or <laughs> I mean, so we went to sushi. So we went to sushi, and it's amazing to see how like the like working in Japan is not only an experience like a like a like a work experience, but it's also you know like um, it's a way of life. And so to see how she's grown, and she's like, I can eat salmon sushi now, <laughs> okay. just the salmon. Mm-hmm. We went out with our Japanese friends as well, and they had to take a photo because they'd never seen anyone order. Only salmon only, and that many. Yeah. <laughs> only salmon. She really likes it. Um, yeah, this is... We went out to the fireworks festival by Seawall, which was a... Oh, there are little avatars from the Sticky Pig yeah. booth. We went out to this um, the fire, the Seawall and watched the big fireworks festival. It was raining. It was... It was, I mean, it was a crazy night when you when we started it, and we honestly thought, like, this is just not going to work out. Like, you know, it was raining, and it was packed, and you couldn't get down to the Seawall because they'd closed it off because there were too many people there and blah, blah, blah. We ended up sitting in, like an elementary school park, Mm -hmm. like, just next to it, and seeing everything just fine anyway, just sitting in the rain. We had these little mats, and... Yeah, um, and the fireworks were humongous. And the cool thing about it is that traditionally, you know, for a lot of these summer festivals, you know, they have a bunch of, like, food booths outside, and, you know, like, all sorts of food and and drink and everything, and everybody's out and about, but everybody wears traditional yukatas, which are essentially, like, summertime kimonos. And And Steve not so subtly hinted that he wanted to wear one. Yeah. So we did. And so we went. <laughs> and a lot of, you know, type of people are like, oh, well, you're not Japanese, so you shouldn't wear that. But the Japanese actually embrace and accept and love when other, when Western cultures are um, embracing their own culture. So we had so many Japanese people who were like, oh, sugoi, it's so good. We love it. <laughs> that cat. Oh, the cat cafe. That was probably one of my favorite things that we did. Really? Oh, I love cats. Steve was missing Bianca and Oliver a lot. Um, this is a f- very finished page. How is that not finished? I don't want I'm going to skip did. that. You did? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, the cat cafe was a highlight. I was, a I was a little turned off by the munchkin oh, cats. Oh, there we are in our yukatas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the, um, the munchkin cats for me were a little... Oh, they were so weird. They were long unusual. and they had like itty bitty legs and like teeny tiny ears. I just don't even think I've ever seen a cat like that before. I know. Well, you know. Not even in those like America's Funniest Home Videos. No, they're just, they're Japanese cats. And they've got big eyes and really little ears. Yeah, but they're like so Japanese style. Do you like my bike drawing at the top right? Oh, you're a professional. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm really good at drawing bikes. 
It's like my specialty. It's these all right. Days. Maybe <laughs> is that a basket? Yeah. Yeah. I got so but, confused, and I thought I didn't use a reference, and it was probably like a mistake. A but it just looks awful. And those wheels. <laughs> I had a bike my first contract and my yeah. second contract out there. My first one was red, and I called it Dorothy, and my second one was the Grinch or Alphabet, depending yeah. on the day. Wow, new contact. That was for the sticky pick. Yeah, it was the sticky pick. They make you, uh, they, they've got these vanities set up and like you can, uh, a lot of girls get there early and spend hours getting ready and yeah. wait for a specific booth to open up. Like they could wait in line for half an hour yeah. to wait for and their they do their hair and their makeup. There's a whole place for them to like, there's like a, a salon. Old, yeah, like a big old mirror that they can do yeah. it. It's an experience. It's you, a you serious, <laughs> serious, serious situation. This is more stamps from the Traveler's Notebook store and that's my watercolor insert. Uh, so I did keep a separate watercolor insert and I'd encourage you to do it if you're going to do just some arty stuff like painting and illustration just because if you are going to put all your travel stuff and ephemera in there it just gets really confusing to lay that out over something that's already finished mm. and if you're going to spend hours doing line work on something while you're waiting for a parade to start at Disneyland the last thing you want to do is stick a ticket stub over the top and, uh, and you know you don't, really, you don't have to plan all that stuff out so... Mm. Um, yeah, this is just some mermaid marker and uh, some rub-ons. Oh, you got so the, many new uh, rub-ons. Yeah, it's from Japan in the store. It was cool. It's cool really to see. Steve from Japan? Mm -hmm. just... <laughs> just what this whole video mm -hmm. is about. Mm -hmm. You know what was hard too? We were vlogging hey, the whole time. It, it could have been that somebody just happened to stumble upon the video and they clicked this part and they're like, what is this about? And they heard me saying that this is from Japan, so I've just welcomed a okay. second group of viewers. So in case you just joined us, hello and welcome. <laughs> uh, oh, the twinning. Oh, they go crazy for that over there. Yeah, I was. I love to pick up on the, the fashion trends of where we're going. Well, I mean, Japan anyway, because mm -hmm. usually like we'll see it in two years. Yeah. So we were seeing like this off-the-shoulder peasant blouse moment with uh, like paper bag waist and flared kind of ankle freezes. Um, and everyone was twinning, like boyfriends, girlfriends, groups of eight girls yeah. with all the same haircut and every, like, exactly the same clothes. Uh, it must be a big trend out there at the moment, so I was kind of living for it. And uh, I got into urban sketching while I was yeah, away. Yeah, that was cool. That was different. I can't say I'm going to do it now that I'm back, um, but it, it was interesting to try out there. I think I get really carried away in Disneyland anyway. Well, it was a cool place to do it. We're also, you were like waiting for the parade and it just kind of was the right time for it. Yeah. And I that, just did it with that, what was the carboning fountain pen and the watercolors. Yeah. And it was, it was super cool to watch them do it. It was quick, unexpected, but yeah. It's, I mean, it's weird doing it out in public because I feel like oh, everybody people was look watching. at you. And yeah, they, they were, and everybody was so into yeah, it. Yeah, you feel like you're like... Is that me? Yeah, that's you. That's, that's the back of Steve when we were waiting for a show to start. Oh my gosh, that's me in my Ariel shirt. <laughs> I love Ariel. He's so obsessed, obsessed with that I'm obsessed with The Little Mermaid. I love her, I love her, I love her. I think I became more obsessed visiting Mermaid Lagoon. And, like, I know I've loved Disney Sea ever since the first time I went there, yeah. but, like, actually entering Mermaid Lagoon oh, is so just good. Is, is amazing. <laughs> See, there it is. That there it a, is. A quick little sketch. And all these, like, Japanese girls are watching him, like, uh, do this sketch and, like, Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It makes me, It makes me self-conscious, honestly, because I feel like they think I'm doing it to be watched. And especially because we're videoing it and we're vlogging this stuff, which mm -hmm. I have to say, vlogging is not my favorite thing. It's it's uncomfortable at times and it's weird to hold videos up of you. You know what I mean? Like yeah. just to record yourself doing all this stuff. I'm I'm so happy we have the video at the end of it now mm -hmm. because I love to watch it. We watch it nightly. So yeah, I know. <laughs> Speaking um, of which, we went to uh, that's a that's Meiji Shrine, right? Yeah, in Harajuku. In Harajuku. It's so weird though, like having a massive city, a developed city like Tokyo, and having a huge park that just right in the middle of it. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's like Central Park in New York City. However, but there's just tons of them. Right, but like, but like where the shrine was, literally feels like you're you're back in time. It's like, like an ancient Japan. Yeah, like it you just know, feels untouched. Oh, totally. Like memoirs of a gay. And it's so serene considering mm -hmm. you're just in the middle of Tokyo. But that last page actually happened because I don't know what happens on a plane, but I think my mermaid mark is or anything with like a barrel or a cartridge, oh, I think I it kind of pressurizes weirdly. Yeah. And so I had a spill yeah. and just turned it into that, which was a it's happy really cool. Accident. I love that. Um this was the sushi we ate that night, went like, out with Madison. <laughs> yeah, this is inspired by Madison. So Madison, if you're watching this, this page is inspired. Uh, you inspired this. See yeah. all the your salmon sushi everywhere. Thank you, Madison. I owe you this page. Your egg, right? That's what that is? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it? No, that's not that. No, the... that's it's tamago. Tamago egg. Yeah. <laughs> that's this little Steve thing. Was it Steve dreams of ice cream. Yeah. True. Everywhere ice cream. we went. Everywhere we went, Steve found an ice cream. It's my favorite. I think he tried the the entire 
collection of ice creams available in Japan? Oh, uh, I don't think so. Close to. Close to. <laughs> um, that illustration on the left was um, inspired by Bao T Fam I follow on Instagram. I just love that kind of face look and I just wanted to give it a go. So, uh, you know, just trying new things mm -hmm. out on my holiday in my watercolor sketchbook. What's happening here? Oh, the This glitter. is my other favorite trend. Um, besides the cats in the hair, which I'm yet to see hit the States. Um, but I loved the, the glitter, the kira kira sparkle. On the cheekbone. On the cheekbone. They had like sequins just right, but it was right under the eye. It wasn't on the high planes of the cheekbone where your blush would go. It was just under the eye, kind of like war paint. Yeah, but, and but no, with sequins. And nobody, and you were just wearing your standard clothing. Oh yeah, no, it wasn't dress up or it anything. It wasn't like a look, it was just... No. <laughs> oh, I love that. Us. Those are our yukatas, yeah. I love fashion illustrations, so I had to throw some of that in there. And this looks like dead on exactly what they looked like. Yeah, I was pretty impressed with them actually. Um, <laughs> but I will say it's not that. that hard. I mean, if you break down the shapes, it's just rectangles and triangles. So no, but you got even um, like the design, like the color and like. Thank all you. Of it. The one on the right Good is a little job. abstract. But she is. Was she origami? Yeah, something. Origami stripes. You just do anything, don't you? Oh, wow. I contributed to this one. Yes. Uh, this is actually a photocopy because it was in a different journal, but Steve uh, did paint the one on the left and I added all the details. Let me tell you, I used about 20 <laughs> different colors <laughs> and you see three of them. He used so many different colors and at the end I just said, you know what, you probably should have used Moon Glow because you've somehow created that effect. Well, uh, I knew like exactly what I was doing. I'm very talented. <laughs> I'm very talented. Yeah, so that was that was clever. Um, I love this one. We actually, Steve doesn't know this, but you know when we watched um, Keeping Up with the Joneses on the airplane? Uh, uh huh. This is Keeping Up with the Joneses, the Joneses, but like the Japanese version. Well, you know, and this also reminds me of those old Japanese wallpapers. You know what I'm talking about? Like, one of my mm -hmm. mom's friends growing up, she had wallpaper in her house. It was just like that old, like gold ornate, like wallpaper and had sakura all over it and it was like those old like oh, the samurai okay. and the geishas and they had those yeah, long exactly faces you know now. what i mean mm -hmm. that's so that's oh, kind yeah, of reminiscent that. of that yeah i like that i like it just a sharpie pen oh alice in wonderland <coughs> yes it. alice in wonderland the, the little flowers but japanese style but japanese style with some faces and the page on the right is just an absolute total hot mess but there is one thing I like about it, and it's this little geisha that came up in the lay pen. Oh, I guess I do like the lashes too, but just, I mean, I'd have to focus this in a second. <laughs> there I go. <laughs> um, this little geisha, I thought that was fun. Yeah. I Where's never draw anything that tiny. Where'd so. you find her? What? Oh, you just drew her. No, I just drew her. Oh, nice. I found her in my head. Uh, and this is the last page of that journal, so I guess we should wrap everything up. These are just oh, simple it. sketches of it's a little like Japanese small world. girl. Yeah, at Disneyland. It's cute. She's cute. Anyway, so... Um, I guess the moral of the story is travel journaling is fun. Uh, just find any creative way you can to put the country or your trip into the book. And, uh, and yeah, we had an absolute amazing time in Japan. And uh, I want to go back. We're waiting to go back. We're just saving every penny and yenny. Send us to Japan. Can. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone wants to sponsor us to go out to Japan, uh, we're accepting submissions. Yeah. So. <laughs> Thank you. Um, oh, Thanks yeah, here's more me. of my sticky pics. Oh, yes, so many. Oh, those ones we did in the States because Stella's in those. Oh. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot. Anyway. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here, Steve. Sure. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the flip. If you've got any more questions, let me know. And uh, until the next time. Mata ne. Ciao, mata.